Ty Beerhead from the VMware Performance Team, and today I've got Srikanth Sikhi, who works on the same team as me. Uh, we've done uh, some work together over the last few years, and uh, today we're going to talk about something that Srikanth's done a lot of testing on, which is vMotion. Uh, so vMotion is, is obviously a, a, a killer feature that we've had in vSphere for a long time now. It's been it's like it's been there uh, since the earliest versions of USA, yeah. but uh, more uh, more and more it's getting so popular and uh, it's one of the you know one of the most critical uh, uh, tools that admins have. Uh, even though VMware has uh, so many features and products, you know, as Tom said, it's still one of the killer apps. You know, and uh, a number of uh, features and products that we have, uh, uh, they use uh, uh, VMware motion it's Like DRS is dependent on exactly, VMotion. Yeah. So when, when we do performance testing of vMotion, well, what are the things that, that you do to, to measure the performance? So uh, as I said, you know, uh, it turns out that you know, even though we have so many features, uh, vMotion is still one of the most critical uh, uh, tools of admins. You know? So we've been working very hard uh, to make the vMotion performance uh, very good. You know? So we mean really good. So we, we pretty much consider all the scenarios. You know? we, uh, like, for instance, we consider uh, our deployment scenarios where you have just a single uh, 1 GB NICs, our people have a 10 GB NICs, our people have a combination of 1 GB, 10 GB NICs, so they're dif uh, different deployment uh, scenarios. And also, uh, people have different workloads, you know, so, uh, so our idea is we wanted to make vMotion performance good in any scenario, you know, or uh, for uh, any workload. So we kind of considered, you know, large domain of workloads, you know, web server workloads, messaging workloads, database server workloads, cloud deployment scenarios, whatnot, you know. And again, we also considered different deployment scenarios, like 1 GB or 10 GB, or, you know, combination, and we make sure the performance is good. And it's my understanding that uh, with vSphere 5, there was a lot of uh, enhancements with the 10 GB support specifically, right? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, uh, we have lots of uh, features and performance specific enhancements. Although uh, uh, there, uh, uh, you know, all, almost all the customers and uh, all the deployment scenarios should see any uh, benefits from uh, these features. Uh, I, I personally believe, you know, people with uh, one GB connectivity, they will see, uh, they'll reap uh, tremendous benefits from all these features. And the best of uh, all is uh, almost all these features and uh, uh, optimizations are all transparent to the end user. So these features will automatically kick in. Uh, uh, Based on the workload characteristics, or based on the, uh, or when the vMotion sensors, your uh, uh, infrastructure is limited, we uh, will automatically kick in. So that's the best part. You don't need to do any tunings or you know make any uh, uh, changes in your configuration. Because you guys, you already did all the tuning. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all dynamic. It's all, it's all set up for the, it's for the defaults. It's pretty amazing, yeah. And and since like we talked about at the beginning, DRS and all these other features depend on vMotion. You get the benefit of the additional performance you know, when you're using those other. Right, right, right. And so your most recent uh, white paper was on uh, vMotion. So basically, we wanted to kind of uh, uh, we wrote this paper where we considered all these different uh, workloads and different deployment scenarios, and we wanted to showcase what is the performance uh, of vMotion in all these uh, on, uh, scenarios. On vSphere five, right? And we also kind of compare, you know, uh, with vSphere four thousand performance, and okay. we can see how how much improvement we made, you know. So you're able to compare it. Uh, Against vSphere 4.1, yes. but I mean, is but there and this, and with the same identical workload same and identical identical workload. Uh, scenarios. But is, is there any other way to, to compare performance? You know, something that's not you know VMware, not a previous version. So it, actually, it's a good question. So you're asking uh, how does the uh, vMotion performance compare with uh, uh, you know uh, performance of uh, similar features offered by other hypervisors? Yeah, I mean that's that's, that's a good, yeah, good um, question. I think. Uh, uh, no, it's interesting. So I think, uh, uh, no, there's Eric. Eric, you know, so he's done some good work here. You know, maybe you can talk us. Uh, Hi guys. Hey Eric. Hi, Hi Sri. Hey. How are you guys doing? You. I'm glad you're here. No? I was just on my way to uh, the other building there for a meeting. What's going on? Well, we were just talking about uh, vMotion, and uh, I think uh, Sri was saying that you've uh, done some work or been involved. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, part of my job here at VMware is to look at other hypervisor platforms, other infrastructures, see how they do things. And uh, one thing that's pretty common with all of the other competitors is they uh, only use serial live migration. So that means one, one virtual time. machine at a time. In fact, uh, you may have seen this. There's a paper out from a third party called Principal Technologies mm -hmm. where they actually compared performance of 
uh, vSphere with Microsoft Hyper-V, the latest version of Hyper-V. Uh, they turn it turns out that vMotion is over five times faster than live migration on Hyper-V when it comes to evacuating a host. And that's and that's because we're doing more than one at a time. That's part of the reason for sure, but I think it's just all the optimizations and all of the things that Sri was talking about uh, earlier that I heard you guys mentioning, uh, the additional uh, enhancements and support for optimizing 10 gig mix and sure. In fact, uh, a single VM, according to those tests, was migrated over three times faster than Hyper-V, a single busy VM with four vCPUs. Because we can cool. we can make a, take advantage of the additional pan, 10 GB bandwidth and you know uh, and then more and yeah and another important thing is not just the speed but it's the impact on the workload that's mm -hmm. being migrated you migrate right. a workload in order to minimize uh, disruption to the end users of that service and so we also saw that during that migration window of that business critical application uh, the vSphere uh, VM actually delivered. 63% more orders per minute than the Hyper-V VM. And I think a lot of this really is just attributed to the maturity. Uh, we've gone through many releases of vMotion with our platform when many of the competitors are just on live migration live migration version 1.0, essentially. Well, very cool. So a lot of that goes back to you know, the stuff that uh, Shikha was talking about, the mm -hmm. testing and performance team that we've done over the course of the year. Yeah, I mean, uh, people who are interested, you know, we have a paper uh, uh, you know, on uh, where we talk about vMotion architecture and all the features and performance and even like touch upon also some of the best practices uh, that the admins have to keep in mind, you know, if they okay. want to get the maximum benefit out of all these features and the optimization. Okay, well, I'll put uh, links up with this video mm -hmm. um, for all of the uh, the white papers uh, that we've mentioned and, and the blog posts. Yeah, cool. And uh, hopefully uh, this has been uh, useful. Great. Nice bumping into you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. It's nice. Take care. Good timing. Yeah, thank you.